Okay, rolling out the Mercury mission. Problem is, I'm not really sure. Oh, I should pick up the contract, maybe. Four years. Well, Mercury we get a lot of chances with. Okay, well, let's try it, but I'm worried about the Delta V. Also, the timing, since it didn't give me the longitude of ascending node there. I can only line up with the moon, but that's not exactly accurate, especially since Mercury is very inclined with the ecliptic. No, oh, it's actually 11 days to that one, though. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna wait out here. <laughs> the fairing can go separately, and ignition. Okay, we have three uh, three engines, and launch. And we're off. Okay, past the speed of sound. Alright, the first stage has worked out pretty well. Okay, staging. And fairings. Okay, and then this stage has to finish it. Right now we have 8,300. We need 1,700 to make orbits, so that leaves us with 6,600 to try to get to Mercury. Okay, we are in orbit. It's a nice tight orbit, and we have 6,600. So, Mercury, let's see what it actually costs. It says 6,900 there. It's not even particularly nice. <laughs> Um, okay, well, let's see. Lowest? Even the lowest is too high. I knew it. <sighs> well, I don't think we have the Delta V to get there. How about Venus? <laughs> this is not the time for Venus, but... One year? Thirty-nine minutes. Now you're talking. Can we get Venus to help us go to Mercury? This seems unlikely. That's... that's the way there, and then that's what happens after. Okay. Uh, that's getting close to Mercury's orbit, but the timing is going to be all weird. Maybe if over here we do another burn? I don't think, I still don't think we have enough. <laughs> um, what, what is that burn? 3,200... Ah, uh, we, we that, that's still 7,000. <laughs> uh, it'd be so close. Well, here we're making use of Venus's gravity a little bit. Okay, I need the blue orbit. Let's see. Okay, well, we've got a Mercury encounter, but a lot has to go right at various times for this to happen. Okay, so we do... Well, yeah, we, we have to make sure this pass is really good. So, uh, that's gotta be fun. But then we just need 500 out there after waiting a while. And, you know, hoping that there are no untoward failures. Oh, we have no comms. This sure has a lot of not having comms, suddenly. Is that dish really, really, really narrow? 
Okay, well, just in time, I guess. It might be infinitesimally, infinitesimally narrow. Okay, we're late. Oh, I can't use that throttle anyway. Go, 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 go. No, we should be safe. Got Australia there. Okay, alright, go. Maybe I should have put RCS on both sides to make fine tuning a little bit better. But then again, I wasn't expecting to slingshot around Venus. That's too far! Okay, um, we're gonna need a mid course correction. Can't do it so fine tuned around here. Okay, that looks sort of like what we were looking for there. But does it preserve our opportunity? Okay, wait. Maybe I'm getting too close to Venus. But we'll worry about that later. Let's just do it as is. It give me, gives me less leverage like this. Hmm. Maybe I should stay further away from Venus. I'm deliberately making it so I have to spend more out here. But that's to help get the timing right. Okay, well that should satisfy a flyby contract if we can get it. So, we have... Whoops. Do that. We're head out. We're recharging. We have a 10 meter per second burn there. And then we fly by Venus. And then we have a 275 meter per second burn there. And then we encounter Mercury. Well, after we like go around the sun once. If this probe stays intact. So, okay. We add alarm, there's the maneuver node alarm thing, and that's set in theory. So, okay. I'm going to temporarily skip the Jupiter mission. I don't think now that would be a problem. Uh, well, no, but our power, the solar power, is not that great. So, we would have to get better solar panels. So we will wait on that for the next opportunity. And we're gonna focus on the crude mission. We could have really, really big solar panels. Now we don't need that much power for the calm dish, right? So we just need like 25 times whatever power that is. And if we have extendable solar panels, maybe we could get that. Okay, crude mission. So, crude mission. Who are our victims? Well, we might as well launch in daylight. Well, uh, okay, that's a big cloud. One more day. Uh, 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 okay, it's a little bit cloudy, but let's go. Jeb, Bill, Bob. Wait, um, we, we, we only have to launch one person, right? True, at least one. Nothing says we have to. We are capable of launching three, but we don't have to launch three. Therefore, Jeb. <laughs> Therefore, Jeb. Uh, wait, Jeb sort of went suborbital, right? Maybe Val? I forget. Is it Val's turn? Lemming. Oh, I, I think I got Lemming just for this. Okay, we're gonna send Lemming. I think. Did Val go suborbital? I don't remember. We're just gonna send Lemming. It's fine. It's automated anyway. We're sending Lemming. That way, that way we don't risk anybody important. <laughs> it is very cloudy today. The rocket looks horrible. Uh, Alright. SAS is on. 
that throttle isn't working. Throttle up and ignition. There's seven engines and go. That is the numbers from previous time. Let's not do that. That's the trouble with recovering the capsule. Get leftover stuff. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Okay, G-Force is getting high, shutting a few engines down. Okay, staging. The upper stage engine has lit. We are only on one engine here, though. Thought we were supposed to have more, but okay. Okay, getting ready to shut down here. Okay, we want that suborbital, so we're leaving it suborbital. Okay. Separation. Oh, and the pod RCS automatically starts up. We don't want that right now. Turn descent mode off. Oh, descent mode was on on the way up, too. Okay. Okay, ignition. Right, I keep trying to use my throttle. That doesn't work. Okay. We should be in a fine orbit for the purposes of that contract. Power-wise, we should probably orient a little bit better to the sun. I don't know why this end is up for all craft, but... You would think the positive Y direction would be, but... Well, that doesn't seem to be recharging great. But on the bright side, we have enough charge. They're each getting like 70 watts. We might rethink the comms too, but anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we could... The, the thing is we have such a small service module. What we really need... We, we don't need to rethink the power generation until we get extendable solar panels. They'll solve the problem. Anyway, we only have to survive for one orbit. We're not gonna put a dent in our power within one orbit anyway. Or even one day. Okay, we just have to bring Lemming down. And we would like to do that close to the KSC to reduce recovery costs. So we'll deorbit around Australia. We're pretty low though. Hmm. Okay, ignition for the deorbit burn. And we'll keep it mild. 80 kilometers. Okay, well, let's get rid of the service module. Okay, there's the right decoupling. We do want the hot RCS active there. Okay. Off goes that. Nice and vigorous. <laughs> okay, descent mode active. Periapsis is right over the US. Well, really pretty close to Florida. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, did you do an EV? Uh, you should have done a report or something. Well, no, but we did suborbital stuff, but maybe crew report? Okay, that doesn't matter. Yeah, the suborbital one already took care of it, then it's not biome dependent anymore because that's just how it is. Ooh, two RCS block failures. That's not good. Well, Hawaiian Islands? Is this the Hawaiian Islands? Yeah. Hawaii. Uh, yeah, we're getting into perilous territory as far as redundancy. Okay, well, it's using pitch and I'm gonna try and turn it off, but it's not gonna obey me. 
I'm, I'm doing it manually so it doesn't go too far out of whack. Is this too much tilt? Should I adjust the descent mode? Is this dangerous? I don't even know. Okay, maybe we're gonna end splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico here. But that'll be good. Convenient. Nope, it's trying to hold pitch again. Well, I'm back to trying to control it manually. Okay, we are getting out over the Gulf of Mexico here. Houston's over there somewhere. Okay, we've been bringing in pretty steadily here. No obvious issues. Still no, no, no ability to get the ablator to ablate, but... Okay, we are through the thick of it. Maximum G's diminishing 4.5 though, apparently. But I think that was during launch. That was during launch. I don't think that was during re-entry. Okay, aero cap jettison. Okay, clean. Okay, parachute pre-deployment. Full parachute deployment. And safe velocity for splashdown. Okay, splashdown. It says that we have fulfilled the contract. Recover, um, recover to VAB. We gotta keep reusing this pod. Till the end of time. Uh, <laughs> That's the third launch of this pod in recovery. It can work, people. All right, so that's in. We fulfilled the contract. We're not exactly rolling in dough, but um, human contracts. Well, we should be getting okay. We should be getting some repeater launch people to space things. I'll have to check out what's going on with those contracts. So we've got a first spacewalk contract, but that requires a astronaut complex. Upgrade. I guess we should start that. I should. I'll just start that. Okay. But we got that done. We finally got a Kerbal into orbit. But I'll have to check on the contracts for the repeater uh, Kerbals in orbit contracts. And well, just one more thing that I have to fix. We've already fixed a few things potentially in this, though. Maybe they've made it too easy. 